On this video, we're going to use pivot tables and charts to answer the same questions we did on the last video, plus look at the last question. So to do a pivot table and chart, um, we'll click on the, um, in the table anywhere, and then uh, insert, and then go over here and click uh, pivot chart and pivot table. And you can check and make sure the rows are right. It should be A1 through J477. You wanted to put it in a new sheet, and we don't need to add this to the data model because we're not going to be doing anything special like adding new formulas or anything to it. So just say OK. And now this is where we bring down our information to do uh, averages and so on. So the thing that we're finding the average about is salary. So you can bring that down here to this sigma values. This will be your, your values that go up. And then you'll have to click on this and change the value field settings to average and say OK. And so this uh, now tells me the average salary of the entire table. So we might now want to break it up to answer some of the early questions like based on gender. So let's bring the category down, uh, gender, down to the category, X, the axis category. And now you can see it in the table, plus you can see it up here in the chart that's being made, the average for um, males and females. And this value for males is what we got on the last problem. So now uh, we might want to uh, answer, uh, that was the answer to problem one right here, the males, and then the 41,000 right here it is. 41,000 something and then males with greater than 10 years of education so what we could do is a couple of different things we could either bring the education down to the legend or to the filter um, let's see I think actually I want to bring it down to filter because um, if I bring it down to legend I'll only I'll have the averages of just separate years so I want to get the average of multiple years and so let's bring education down to the filter now, I click on this drop down for uh, education, or I could click up here, either way you want. And mine said greater than 10. So the ones that are greater than 10, I have to click this, select multiple items. And greater than 10 would be all of them except 8. So there's 12 and so on. So that's the average of all of them that are greater than 10. Say OK. And that changes my values here. So it filtered it. You can check the filter on here and see that it's the same. It's only choosing the ones that are greater than 10. So, and now we have our answer for the average uh, male salary for more than 10 years of uh, education. And this is the same answer we got to the second problem in the last video. Now another one that we had uh, on the last video, the third one, was males a minority level of zero and job time greater than or equal to 90. So all these are filtering type of things. So what we could do is bring minority level down to the uh, filter. So let's do that. Minority level, bring it down to the filter. And I think job time was another one. So let's bring job t time right here, job time down to the filter. Now you have to make sure you clear filters that you don't want. So on my example that I did, my third example, I had no filtering based on education. So what I'll do is click on the education filter and just say all so that I'm not filtering anything with education. But it did say to filter based on minority level and mine was to use a minority level of zero is what I had. So I'll just click on that one and say OK. And you see that adjusted the bars and your values in the graph. And then job time, mine said greater than or equal to 90. So I'll click on job time and I'll select multiple items. And so what I have to do is get rid of all of them except those that are greater than or equal to 90. So that's a lot of clicking, but it would probably be less clicking if I just took them all off and then just added on those that are greater than or equal to 90. So I'll go down here and start clicking these on. So let me do that real quick. And uh, I don't know of any quick way to uh, have multiple ones show up from there to the end or whatever. But it did say greater than or equal to 90. I have 90 and higher selected. Say OK. 
and now it's filtered by minority level and job time and I have my averages for both males and females here and what, uh, what we were doing was the males and this is the same answer that we got when we did it in the last video. So in general the way to set these up is anything that you're filtering by are the things that you're restricted with like on that third problem, we were we were uh, we needed to filter by education level because maybe we were looking at education level of greater than um, 14 years or 15 years. Minority level we were restricted by because we were only looking at minority level of zero and job time we were restricted by. So anything on problems that you're is saying for a particular group or in some way, then that's what you want to filter by, and you don't. I think that's the best way to do those right there and then we have our answers now on the last problem we're looking for the uh, grade level in which uh, minority zero or minority one or, or something was greater than uh, the average salary for a different uh, minority level zero or one and uh, so to do that then what you might want to do is, is we definitely still want average right here but we're uh, looking at both genders I believe on that problem so actually I'm going to bring um, education level down to the access area so let's see I can either remove it and then bring it down to the other area or maybe I could drag it down but bring that down and then you need something in the in the legend here and what I'm going to put in the legend job time was not a variable on this so I can actually uh, get rid of that because uh, that didn't really matter with the problem but minority level I need to take that to the legend and now what you'll have is the um, and I'll move this over here so you can see what I'm talking about is you'll have a graph that shows minority level 0 and 1 for each um, grade level and you can see when is minority level one uh, greater than minority level zero and by looking at the uh, table behind it uh, it sh it has it broke up into even right here it has it broke up into males and females so you can see when is minority level one higher than minority level zero for both for either females or males when does that happen so and then your values will be right over here in this table or you might be able to hold it and get the value for uh, on the bar chart but that would be the layout on this you can mess around with it and get different ones that you might be looking for but that's the layout